Now forecasts are what we make when we take the trends that you've identified from the data and project them into the future. And we base our predictions on our forecasts, like making a weather forecast. You're making a forecast what the weather is going to be like on the weekend based on the data you have from weather radar and cloud formations and all of the rest. So your forecasts are based on your trends. Your trends are based on your data. That you can choose where your forecasts go based on that data, informed by the process you're going through in futures research. So in creating your futures wheel, you identified a series of stages that may progress out from your central idea. And each of those represent forecasts. What may occur in two years time, then five years time, then maybe 10 years time, or things that are going to rely upon one another. Um, you may forecast that assessment will change dramatically as a result of um, new generative text tools. And you may forecast that we're going to see a return to in-person teaching because of the need for um, invigilation, um, monitoring student uh, assessment tasks. Of course, we can't trust them to be able to do them online or at home uh, because they may use tools that will assist them too much. But that may enable um, new approaches to teaching. If all the students are required to be uh, physically present, then that may open up more uses for tools such as virtual reality and cave systems where we project onto the screens around us. And so that technology may be able to progress more quickly because of what's happened with the other technologies. So this is where our futures wheel can show the interactions between various forecasts as we make our predictions about what may occur in the future in relation to educational technologies. So forecasts should be plausible. They're not just fantasy or science fiction. They've got to be based on trends, on some sort of data. Now, it doesn't have to be super strong data, but there has to be some indication that things are moving in that direction. They should be relevant, so they shouldn't just be something abstract like um, uh, the availability of electric cars and the effect that has on the use of virtual reality. Uh, it'd have to be quite a long bow to draw to show the relationship between the two. Now, you may be able to draw that, but um, generally you try to get, uh, choose things that are more related to one another directly. They should be divergent. So don't try to converge into one single idea. The idea of the futures wheel is to have you thinking divergently, thinking about all of these different possibilities. And they should be challenging. Remember, we're looking at those moonshot thinking ideas, things that will fundamentally change things not just small incremental changes, but having a significant change on education. And we'll discuss these in the tutorial.